In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 3D objects for your Elementor websites. Now we're going to be using a tool called Spline 3D. I recently discovered it and I thought that I would share it with you guys. It's pretty cool. You don't need to have that much experience in 3D. You can do some pretty basic stuff with it. So this is a Spline website here. As you can tell, they have this 3D object. Pretty cool that you're able to look at on their main website. Um, if we scroll down here, they have some other things that you're able to do with it. I honestly am not really this advanced, but it's pretty awesome what you're able to see. Like, I wish I could do any of this stuff that they're showing. I'm um, sure you have to have some sort of 3D background to be able to create those really nice 3D designs. But hey, if you get into it and you really learn the tool, who knows? I'm just going to show you how to create some simple 3D objects. And we're just going to create a Elementor um, logo. Um, it's going to be fairly simple. So you can go over the website. I'll have it down in the description so you can look more into it. So this is what we're going to be creating right here. Um, it's just the Elementor logo in a 3D form. The only downside about this is that if you're not paying for the 3D um, tool, you do get this watermark. But in my opinion, I mean, it's really small and it's not really that noticeable anyway. So it's fine anyway. Um, but they do make it very affordable. So if you did want to go through that um, and actually pay, so then you can remove that watermark, you can. I believe it's right here. Um, for the monthly, it's nine. For the yearly, you can do seven, seven a month, obviously build annually. Um, and then they have a super team if you did want to have teams or something like that. But it's pretty affordable. Uh, I'm not saying you even need this, but I'm just using the basic version anyway, and I don't mind having a watermark. But if I did have a serious project, and I did want to remove that moderate with that watermark. Well, there you go. I can just pay for the service. But I don't really need to. So um, and I just wanted to go over this tool a little bit. It's pretty cool here. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. It only takes you a sec and it definitely helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos just like this one. Now, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and begin here. So go ahead and just click on open app and make sure you create an account. And then once you've created your account, you're going to be logged into this dashboard here. Okay, so go ahead and click on new file to start a new project. Let that load. There we go. And let's just click over here. Double click it. And we're going to actually rename this here to Elementor logo. But I'm going to call it V2 just because I already created one. It's called the same thing. And then I'm going to go over this a little bit. I'm not really going to go over every single setting, but just give you a general idea. Um, so over here, we have our little tools that we can use. On the left hand side, we have a panel of, of, um, of each object, even our camera that we have um, or our di directional lighting, I believe. And then whenever we add a new object, you see if I add a new object, it's just going to add it here. So basically all of our layers are right here. Um, and then on this side, we have the settings for each um, object and even the background as well whenever you don't have an object selected. Um, and then over here we have a rotation so we can go ahead and actually move this around if we wanted to. But I don't really use this much to be honest so just click reset. Then we can actually set it to perspective but um, I don't really use that. Um, I usually just use the ortho uh, graphic that's one that I usually use. So now that we have a general idea of how this works here, let's go ahead and click on our first object. And then, like I said, I'm not going to be going through every single setting. I'm just going to be going over the settings that we're going to be using. So click on your first object. We don't really need to adjust the sizing. The sizing is already set. Just make sure that it's set to 320 by 320. That's perfect. And let's first adjust our corners. So just start to adjust that. We're going to maybe leave it at 35 for our corners. Make sure you do that first. That should be the first thing or second thing that you do. All right. And then after that, we're going to adjust our color. So go ahead and click on your color. Make sure you, you click on your object and then click on your color here. And then drag this all the way down. Um, and we're going to be using this color here, which is just the elementary color that we usually use. There we go. Um, okay. So now from here on our lighting, very important, go to your lighting, just click on this little circle here and then go ahead and choose Lambert. That's just so then we can see um, the, the lighting effect whenever we um, 
have our 3D object. You'll see what I mean right now. Um, so your extrusion, this this is a part that's basically gonna make it make the object thicker so then you can see um, the 3D object. So just set that to 40. Now we can't see it yet. We actually just need to move our angle of this. So go ahead and just click on the outside box here. We just need to move our camera basically our view of this so then we can see it in a 3d way i'm not really a 3d master so i might mess some stuff up here so anyway hold down option or shift i think it's option or shift if you're on a shift if you're on a um, windows but i think for uh, mac it's it's option i believe i'm not really too sure honestly but just hold down option and then on your mouse make sure you uh you right click it on your mouse and then hold the right click and then just drag it a little bit down and there we go and just drag it to the to the right here so then we can see the 3d object there so now we can start to see um how thick it is and basically if i go to my lighting let me click on my object and you know how i added the lambert if i remove this you can see that it's going to remove that shadow there that's why we want to make sure that we set it to lambert that's perfect I'm trying to make this really simple because i could definitely overcomplicate this um, but basically you just want to move your camera around so then you can see the 3d object there we go so now um we need to just add a rectangle here so go ahead and click on your rectangle tool right above there and then go ahead and add um your rectangle right in here just make sure as you can tell whenever you um land on it it's going to be marked in red whatever side you want to add it to um, so let's just make sure you do it here and then let's start about right here and let's just drag this Drag this to about Like that I believe let's make it about this size it doesn't have to be perfect guys But it's just so then you guys get a general idea and let's click on this rectangle tool again And let's just add another one right about here And let's try to have the same spacing on each side. We can adjust that a little bit towards the end of the video um, So I'm gonna do about this should be fine and then let's let's just do it again add another one maybe towards the middle here we can adjust this uh, we'll adjust this right now just in case it's not perfect if we need to um and then just add another one here there we go and now if you hold down your option and then you uh, use your little mouse wheel to scroll in that's how we can go ahead and do that um, so now we just want to correct this. Let's hold down um, option again and just move this over here. So then we can really align this properly and make sure that it's all the same size. So, um, yeah, let's just try to align this a little bit better. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it just, at least you have to align it somewhat, right? Um, so yeah, let's definitely make sure that we leave that where that was. Let's move this down a little bit. You can actually use your keys on your keyboard to move it down a little bit. Your, your arrow keys, I should say. Um, and let's make sure that these are the same size. So I'm just going to grab. I feel like, let's see here. Let's grab our, um, our y-axis um, size here. And let's just paste that right in here to these. This one's probably the one that's going to need it the most, honestly. They're pretty close, but there we go. So now they're pretty much the same size there. Um, and we could also do the same thing with the x-axis, but I mean, it's not really that necessary because they're pretty much really close anyway. Um, but oops, wrong one. Let's make sure we do it to this one, not that one. There we go. All right, now let's zoom in a little more because I feel like this thing's not aligned properly. So let's just bring it up a little bit. And let's make sure our sides, our side, the side spacing is at least decent. Now, now the part that I don't like about this tool is it doesn't have any alignment features that help you out. Like using Photoshop or Adobe XD where it kind of shows you how to align it. Um, but it's fine. I mean, it is a fairly neat tool, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, and it's free, so it's amazing. All right. So now that we have that set up, let's move it to this side. Just hold down option and use your mouse. And let's make sure that it's not popping out, guys, because trust, trust me, you will have this issue. 
and I will actually run through the scenario. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you that you might, you may like do this and you may be like, well, why is it like this, right? So what you need to do in case you do have this um, issue, you actually need to just grab this little circle here, hold it down with your mouse, click on it, hold it down, and then just pretty much bring it right back to where it was. You can just drag it down and you see where it kind of goes into it. You kind of want it before that. You see how it pops out right there. So just barely have it where it pops out. There we go. And that's how it should be, just so then you guys know. Um, so now, let's go ahead and click on these objects here that are inside our box. And let's change these to white instead of gray. So change that one to white. Change this one to white. Change this one to white as well. Change this one to white. Let's start with our first one. Um, let's go ahead and shift this a little bit over here so that we can see. And then let's adjust our extrusion and let's set this to 25. There we go. Now, if you don't want a shadow effect, you can just remove that on the cast, just set it to no, but I like the shadow. That's perfect. And we want to add some lighting to this. Um, so let's set this to Lambert. There we go. That's perfect. And basically now we're just doing the same thing to the rest of them. So set the, set the extrusion to 25, set it to Lambert. Perfect. Extrusion 25, Lambert, um, Extrusion 25, and Lambert. Here we go. Okay. So now that's all set up there. Let's zoom out a little bit. And basically now we can export this, but let's make sure that we have it, that we do um, align this where we want it to. Basically, if we go like this, and we export it just like this, whenever it loads, it's gonna show up like this on your website. So we wanna make sure that we have it, we have the angle correctly of where we would like it, um, how we would like it to load up on the website. Um, so I'd say something like this, I believe. And even shift this down a little bit, but let's do about, uh, do about something like this. Okay, so now um, let's go and click export. So like I said, if you if you don't have the, the premium version, um, you're not going to be able to remove the watermark on this. So we're going to have to leave that. Um, so we're going to be using this embed code. But before we even use that, I want to adjust some of the settings here. So the camera is fine. Um, the orbit is good. The pen is fine. The zoom. So make sure you set that to no because I kind of find it annoying whenever you try to zoom on. Whenever you try to scroll down on your website, instead of scrolling down, it's going to zoom into the object. I don't like that. Um, we have a soft orbit. That's fine on hover. This is pretty cool. Set that to orbit camera and then set this to 40 um, Page scroll. That's fine. Um, we so we don't want a background color on this because then it's just gonna have this weird background That's definitely not gonna look good on your website. So just remove the background um, You don't need any of these other options. I haven't gone through these too much um, Animated turnable turntable I haven't used this actually. I don't even know what this is, but it seems pretty cool. I might test it out later on. But anyway, let's just leave it as is now. Click update. And go ahead and grab your embed code here. Just copy it. And then go into your Elementor editor and let's search for HTML element and let's drag that right in here. And then all you got to do is just paste it in there. And then the, the part that I don't like about this is that um, the box sizing isn't really um, adjusted to where it should be, which is kind of weird. But anyway, all you got to do is adjust the height on this. I mean, you can even ad adjust the width, but I kind of tend to not to. I just adjust the height and just set it to 600 or whatever height you may use. Um, you can even set it to 500 or whatever. Now you see how it's kind of fast here. If you think it's too fast, um, whenever you're, you know, you're moving your mouse around on hover, you can adjust that. Like I said, I, I, I set it to, if I go... Back over here, I set it to uh, 40, but you can actually set it to um, 30 instead. Let's try 30. I feel like it's just really fast. Um, no, this one's not really that great either. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at this for now. Or let's do, you know what? This, sh this should have adjusted actually. It should have at least a little bit, a little bit slower. So I don't know what's going on here. Let me see here. 
Yeah, I think that's it right there. Let's set this to 600. Um, let's click update. There we go. So now it's a little bit slower, right? So that's perfect. And let's check this out. And there we have it. So we have this cool 3D object. We can scroll. We can. Uh, we can scroll down here. Um, like I said, the only bummer is that we do have this watermark, but if you do get the premium version, you can go ahead and just remove the watermark. It's actually fairly cheap. I went over it earlier. Um, it's not really that expensive, but I mean, I would only do that if it's like a, if your client wants that, or if it's something necessary that you have to have on your website and you don't want to have this watermark. In my opinion, the watermark, um, isn't really that much of a deal breaker. It's not, it's kind of small and not that noticeable and it looks kind of cool too. So that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys did find it helpful um it is something fairly new so i didn't go over every single um setting and everything else um but let me know if you want a more in-depth video i'm still learning this tool as well so bear with me on that part so if you did find this video pretty awesome make sure to like it for the youtube algorithm it only takes you a second and it definitely helps out the channel quite a bit and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one.